have to tell you, this is one of the more complicated builds we have ever embarked upon. We've spent a couple of days now digging, pressurizing, mining, mortaring, wiring, and testing, all to what end? To build a functional yet non-lethal minefield we can test with. And the most important part of this minefield is this, the mines. They are activated by a small pressure transducer that acts like a scale, and we can have it set off the mine at whatever pressure we decide. And when they're activated, these fancy mortars that we've buried go poof. At the beating heart of this operation, the thing that joins all of our mines and all of our mortars together and makes them functional is about a half mile of Cat5 cable all terminating here in this rat's nest, which our honorary Mythbuster and electronics and metering specialist David Harding claims will allow us to adjust our mines to be set off by any pressure that we choose. And to find out if their complicated setup is working, they're first testing it on foot. Cue the designated dead man walking. Now, I could just walk out there and step on one, but where's the fun in that? I'm gonna walk this minefield blindfolded while being guided to doom by Mr. Heinemann. Don't worry, I'll watch your step. <laughs> All right. Okay, David, arm the system. System is armed. From the control center, each mine is calibrated to go boom at 35 pounds of pressure. One light step, and Adam will feel the full force of a movie effect explosion. This is weird. I gotta say, I uh, know this is totally safe. Commencing walking the minefield. Like, I won't get hurt by the mortars that we made, but it's a little nerve wracking. Now, there to your right a little bit. The minefield is scarily accurate and completely safe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> there goes the leg. Hey, you still got another one. And when Adam recovers from his gruesome fake death, oh! <laughs> they can reset the field for vehicles. Can I be dead yet? Ah! Oh! Oh, you big baby. I think I'm dead.